If you see a high-rise building in the city, you may be wowed by its beauty and engineering prowess. Have you ever stopped and wondered what constructing it means for the environment? Fortunately, there are a lot of ways to reduce the impact on the environment. Source, Design Solid. In this video, you will learn about how construction projects impact the environment. I will list several ways that construction projects negatively impact our surrounding environments. I will also provide a bit of information that shows where the construction industry is striving to minimize these environmental impacts. Before we start though, I'd like to inform you a little bit about what rhetoric and affinity spaces are. You might be asking yourself right now, what does that have to do with any of this? Or maybe even asking yourself what those two words even mean. Rhetoric is used in several ways, but its main agenda is to persuade, either emotionally, logically, or credibly. Now with affinity spaces, this is about groups, communities, and common interests. That's what an affinity space is all about. There may be a smaller group within a bigger affinity space, or even multiple groups under the category of the affinity space. Source, Affinity Spaces in Higher Education from EBSCO Host. In this video, the affinity space is the environment related to construction. It's okay if you aren't involved in construction or anything related to that, but like many people, you must care about the world around you. So stick around and hope to better your knowledge about environmental impacts from construction. The most prevalently affected element throughout several construction sites and projects is water. It has been one of the most negatively impacted resources of all. Some ways that water contamination is caused is by washout from concrete, wastewater discharges as a result from painting, releases of oil, curing compounds, other construction materials, discharge of fuel and oil, and other pollutants used in equipment operation and maintenance. Source. Environmental Impacts Due to Construction video, Sanket Kokarni, Minute 1705. Dams also leave impacts on water by disrupting the flow of sediments, which reduce biodiversity and cause poor water quality for crops, communities, and decreases fish populations. Source, Maud Salman, slide 15 of 24 on slideshare.net. Here's an image of Zeva Dam in Sananji, Kurdistan. It causes poor water quality due to the concrete particles downstream which leads to contaminated water sources and degradation of the water itself. Source: Case Study 7, The Environmental Impacts of Dam Construction in Kurdistan, written by Nematola Azizi. On to air, there are several ways that the atmosphere can be impacted. One of the ways that air is impacted is through the production of greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide. This of which comes from vehicles, equipment, and factories from all over. Here we see an image of a road construction machine producing an ugly plume of smoke into the clean, crisp mountain air, quoted from P-Base Gallery. Another way that air is impacted is from deforestation. This reduces the number of trees, which in return lowers the production of oxygen and the consumption of CO2. The third main element that is affected by the construction industry and its practices is the contamination and erosion of oil. Some causes of this are once again from runoff containing concrete washout, paint, curing compounds, other construction materials, fuels, and other pollutants used in vehicle and equipment operation and maintenance. Another impact on soil is the contamination of oil. This occurs from the construction machinery and vehicles that are driven on site dripping, leaking, and spilling of oil. Source, Design Solid. The third impact that the construction industry poses on soil is major erosion. For example, the construction of pipelines have caused major landslides, slips, and erosion on their surrounding environments. These occurrences may also impact nearby habitats and going back above, change in water quality. The U.S. Geological Survey has documented landslide problems in regions known to support high levels of biological diversity, including the Appalachian Mountains, Rocky Mountains, Pacific Coast Ranges, and other parts of Alaska and Hawaii. Grading and excavating trenches on steep slopes increases the potential for slips, landslides, and erosion, which can threaten pipeline safety and increase the risk of environmental impacts. 
Source, the Pen Pennsylvania Environment Digest blog. Even though the construction industry over the years has had negative impacts on our environment, year after year they continue to strive to be more environmentally conscientious about the impacts of their industry upon the environment. A call to action, I wish to implement practices and procedures that will have a positive impact on our environment and allow us to be better stewards of the land that we live in. These practices and procedures will consist of reducing, reusing, and recycling construction and demolition materials within every construction project. For more information on how you can help reduce the environmental impacts, check out this infographic. All you need to know is on here, the Construction Productivity blog sponsored by PlanGrid.